Hey guys, it's me and I wanted to do my October favorites today. I have been not procrastinating. It was at least, well, maybe I was, but it wasn't on purpose. I got sick and then there was just so much stuff going on in our house that I totally just kept pushing back my October favorites. I love doing October favorite video, or not October favorite videos, but I love doing favorite videos. I just think that like... I don't know, because I love watching other people's. I think that's why I like making my own. But I just for some reason never got around to doing this when I should have done it. So this is a little bit late because it is, what, in our second week of November already, um, which I cannot believe. I always say that and everybody else always says that, so I'll probably stop right now. But I'm really excited for the holidays. I am like this close to putting up our Christmas tree, which I just, I don't know, I just love, I love the holidays and especially because my kids are getting all old enough, like Kaya is at the age where she's really going to be into Christmas this year, so like, I don't know, John and I are just super excited and we've had a really, I mean it's been an up and down year for us, but I'm just excited. But anyways, I always do that, I digress. So I have a little bit of a lot, I have different things in every single selection. Um, I will say that some of these things you will hear about again in another video that I am planning on filming which will come up next week. Um, I did a massive, like I have a massive, like an a, a unhealthy massive amount of things that I got from Sephora in the last two months. So I have a huge Sephora haul coming up for you guys. I feel kind of nervous doing that video because um, I don't think people will understand why I bought so much stuff. But during their VIB Rouge sale, um, I bought a ton of stuff. For my birthday, as you guys know, October is my birthday. All I asked for was Sephora gift cards from everybody in my life. So that's basically what I got. So I spent a, a lot of money there. So some of these things are actually from that Sephora haul, which you guys will see. I'm waiting on two boxes to come from Sephora because they were like back ordered or something and it's taken a while. So I'm waiting for those before I do my actual video of that haul. So some of these are going to be a repeat just to, um, I don't know even why I said that, just to let you know. But anyway, so starting off, I will start with uh, skincare products that I have been loving this month. Um, the first thing has been my Clarisonic, or I should say last month, sorry, is my Clarisonic. I love 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 this thing i had been really doubtful of this thing just because it's so expensive this is the mia 2 uh this is what it looks like it is so oh my gosh i love it what it is is it's a brush like i don't know what do you call it it's just it's just a face wash appliance is that i, I don't know but um the Mia 2, it's called the Mia 2 because it's got two different settings. There's also the Mia, which has one setting, which is a little bit cheaper. This thing is amazing. I have been using this day and night on my skin, and my skin has never been smoother. It's never been as, I don't want to say glowy, but it's just been really healthy looking for the last few, like, days of using it. I wanted to do a review on this when I bought it two months ago, but... I didn't want to talk about it unless I knew exactly how I felt about it. So I wanted to use it for a month before I actually said something about it. But I absolutely love this, this thing. It is just amazing. It's changed my life. Basically, the brush head just makes this motion and it just, you do it all over your face and it's got this little timer in it that beeps when you're ready to move on to the next part of your face. And it's just, oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I bought this as a gift set. It was one of the holiday gift sets. I bought it immediately when it came out because by itself it's $149. But in the gift set, it came with a few extra things which I will talk about in my uh, Sephora haul, like I said, in next week. But just to let you know, this itself, the Clarisonic Mia 2, is one of my favorites. I just absolutely love it. So this is just amazing. I totally think it was worth the money. Like I said, though, if you can, get it during the holidays, during the gift set, because then that way you get extra things on top of this for the same exact price. The next thing I've been loving is something that came with the Clarisonic Mia 2 in the gift set, which is the Bosha or Basquia, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, uh, purifying cleansing gel. This stuff is amazing. It, I just, I absolutely love it. One of the reasons why I picked the Clarisonic Mia 2 gift set that I did was because this was one of the free things that came with it and I had been wanting to try this face wash for a while now. It is not a cheap face wash. I believe it's like 20 some. 20 something dollars I could be wrong I don't know I know it's more than 15 and 50 more than 15 dollars on a face wash I think is high 
up there um, but it's just like I said it came free with the gift set so that's why I picked that one and I absolutely love it it's got such a nice lather to it it feels really good it's very gentle on my skin I tend to use this in the mornings just to clean off my skin and then at nighttime I use my other favorite which I love 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 which is the Biore free your pores deep pore charcoal charcoal cleanser this thing is just as you can see I've made quite a dent in it I'm like down to here already I bought this when I was out visiting Sam in September, I believe. Was that September? I think that was September. Maybe that was October. I don't know, maybe it was October. Yeah, first week of October, I don't know. Anyways, I bought this about over a month ago and I absolutely love it. It is amazing. This stuff is, I believe, $6 at Ulta or $7, but Ulta, you always have those coupons and stuff. You can probably find it at any drugstore. It is a drugstore product. I've absolutely been loving it. My pores are looking so much better. They're looking so much more cleaned out and cleaned out and they do look like they're shrinking but I am also doing other things for my pores to shrink them so that could be different but they're definitely a lot clearer so that is just a big plus for me also I love the feeling on my skin with this stuff I really feel like my skin is clean and just like tingly and I don't know I just love it so this is what I use at night and the Bosha cleanser I've been using during the day so I just I love those things the next skincare product I've been loving is this endless glove by soap and glory um, this is brand new it just came out uh, I believe like a month or two ago I picked up the small size and I just purchased the larger size during my Sephora haul thing that I will be doing um, so I wanted to try the small one first just to make sure I liked it because it's not a cheap lotion at all I believe the full size is $14 so I wanted to make sure I liked it before I bought it this stuff is absolutely amazing as you guys know, in my last winter favorites last year, I was in love with their foot peel glove or foot glove or whatever it was called. Where is it? I think I have it up here. This stuff. Um, last winter I was obsessed with this stuff. It's called Heal Genius, the amazing foot cream, and it is amazing. I have two of these. Um, this one's about halfway gone, and then I have a full one up there as well. But this stuff was so amazing. It moisturizes your feet. It makes all the dry, cracked ickiness go away. Like... My feet have never felt so smooth and good after using this stuff, but I guess this could be a favorite too, but I haven't been, I haven't needed it because I usually only need it in the winter. But anyways, so they came out with the Endless Glove for hands. So basically it's like this, intense moisture, but for your hands, and it smells really, really good. It's like coconut and fruity and... I don't know, it smells delicious. Moving on to makeup products. I love makeup, as you guys know, but there are a few things that are really close to my heart, one of which are highlighters. I don't think you can ever have too many highlighters. I, it's kind of a sick obsession of mine to find the perfect highlight. I just love, love, love highlighters. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was my favorite is this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette of highlighters. I picked this up over the summer, as you guys know, while I was out in LA with Sam. I got this from Nigel's Beauty Emporium, which at that place there, um, because of Sam, I got 40% off of it. So I just felt like it was the perfect time to pick it up because it's an expensive palette. So 40% off just made it affordable and I absolutely love it. I'm so happy I picked it up. All of the highlighters are so gorgeous. I'm wearing the middle one right now, which is Incandescent Light. I also own the Single of Luminous Light as well, but I love this. So you have dim light, incandescent light, and then radiant light at the end. And I have used and found reasons to use all three of them um, during the week. And I just, this is such a good purchase. It was, I just, oh, I love it. And it will last forever. Like there's a lot of product in this pan and you really don't need a lot of highlighter to get the job done. So this has been a definite favorite of mine. Another favorite of mine, which is in the Hourglass family, is this Hourglass Blush in Radiant Magenta. I'm wearing it today. It is so pretty. It is the same. You're not going to be able to get a good read on what it looks like in the pan. But it is one of the only radiant, or it's one of the only blushes by Hourglass that actually shows up on my skin. Can't see, it's a little bit pinky red. But it is just amazing. It just, I don't know, it's just glowy and just... I don't really know what to say about it. It's just really pretty, so just trust me on that. It's one of my favorites, though, for October. Do you guys feel like I'm really awkward in this video? I feel like I'm being really awkward, and I don't know why. Like, I forgot to film videos because it's been a week. I don't... 
something's wrong. So moving on. Another blush that I have been love, love, loving is a Becca blush, which is weird because I've never actually liked any of the Becca blushes. I've um, tried Flower Child, but it was just too orange on me and I ended up returning it. And then I also tried a coral one and I didn't like it. Like it wasn't worth the amount of money that they cost because they are very expensive. This is one of the things that I bought though during the 20% off Rouge um, event. So I picked this up. This is a Becca, this is the Becca blush in Honey in Wild Honey, I'm sorry. And it is really, really pretty. It looks more bronzy right now on camera, but it is actually more of like a copper tone-ish color. And it's actually really similar to Max Copper Tone blush, but it's a little bit pinkier and a little bit more blendable. I absolutely have been loving this. I've been using this as actually kind of just a bronzer and blush when I don't wanna contour my face, I'll just use this instead. And it just gives me a really healthy, just, not glow, but just a really healthy pinched cheek, just healthy, no makeup, but having makeup on look. Does that make sense? So I've been loving that blush. The next thing I've been loving is a favorite that I have mentioned numerous times everywhere, and it is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I love this powder. It is amazing. Um, I don't like the puffer thing. Both on, both, I have two of these. One for my purse and one for at my desk. And all of my puffers just keep breaking. I don't know. It's like, you think they would give you like a, just a nicer little puffy puffer thing because they're, this stuff is not cheap. Like it's pretty expensive. Um, but I love this stuff. It's in really cute packaging, you know, a little pink, you know, compact. And you get quite a bit and it's a really good mirror. I actually at my desk use this mirror to do my eye makeup because it's a good size and all that. But it just does wonders for your pores. It shrinks your pores down, makes them look almost non-existent. And it really does take the shine out of your skin, especially like for me, where when I'm using this camera and filming, I look shiny as all get out. So I absolutely love this stuff. It just really mattifies your skin. And it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't look really white. And it's just, it's a really nice powder. So I highly suggest this for anybody who has kind of combination to oily skin. Um, and somebody who, like me, when they use powders, usually looks all washed out because this definitely will not wash you out. And it's just, it's a really nice powder. Moving on to lip products, I, you guys know, I hate lipstick. I absolutely hate it. Like if there's one type of makeup product I hate, it is lipstick. I have never purchased a lipstick in my life that I've kept. I usually end up taking them back or just avoid purchasing them altogether because every single lipstick I've ever come across smells like nasty crayons or they just taste and smell like just chemically nastiness. And everyone I talked to was just kind of like, well, that's just what lipstick tastes like. That's what you're going to get. You know, you just have to deal with it. But that's not true. So I was, um, when I was out, I think it was, like I said, it was not when I was visiting Sam. So it was at Tyson's Mall at their Sephora. They had a huge display of the Kat Von D lipsticks. And I never, I love Kat Von D products, you guys know that, but I had never looked at her lipsticks before. And every once in a while, when a lipstick catches my eye, I will open it and smell it to see what it smells like, because that's usually a good indication of what it will taste like. So these definitely caught my eye. They are so cute. Look at the packaging. It's like a black studded packaging. These caught my eyes. So I definitely, of course, real quick opened them and smelled them. And they smelled like, I don't even know how to describe the smell, baked goods, like vanilla cake. Like, but not a gross, sickly vanilla cake. Like just, they just smelled good. You know what I mean? So because of the smell, I really was just like, I need to try that. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be really good. You know, I'm just, I just, I need to try it. So I've been looking for like a dusty, rose-ish, mauve nude lipstick for a while. So I picked this up in Cathedral and it is so pretty. It is just like a dark mauve color and it goes on really smooth and it's not drying even though it's matte and it stays forever and it's just such a pretty color. I've worn it in numerous pictures and videos so far and it's just one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite lipsticks. And the taste, if you can taste anything, again, it's like a cakey, baked goods, vanilla-y taste. It's not any, it's not gross, it's not overly sweet, it's not overly fruity, it's just not florally, it's just good. So I just absolutely love that. So after I picked that up, I wanted to try more colors, but they're really, they're not the cheapest lipsticks in the world, they're over $20. So I decided to pick up Kat Von D's Holiday Deluxe Gift Set. And what you get are a bunch of deluxe testers. And first off, I love that it's a miniature packaging size of the full size and second off you get a quite a bit of lipstick in each of these sample size or deluxe sample sizes like that's a good amount of lipstick 
it'll take me a while to get through that. So I picked that up and out of the 12 colors, there are two colors that really stood out that I absolutely have been loving. The first one is Lovecraft, which I am wearing today, which on video right now it's showing up darker than it usually does. It's actually like a more uh, mauve light pink. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me in my Instagram pictures and Facebook pictures and videos what I was wearing, which to answer your question is the Lovecraft and I will put it next to Cathedral so you can see that it is a little bit lighter and pinkier than Cathedral where as Cathedral is a little bit darker and browner. I have absolutely been loving this color. It's just amazing. So once I am done with this tester size or deluxe whatever size, I will be getting the full size of that. The other color that just jumped out of the deluxe set that I got was this and this is in hexagram and I have been looking for a red lipstick that didn't come off like trampy. I know that sounds terrible, but reds on me, wet, certain reds at least, make me look like I'm trying too hard or like, look at me or I should be walking the streets. Like just me, not anyone else, just me. So I've been looking for a red that didn't do that, but that was really pretty and holiday appropriate. And I actually by accident picked this one out of the deluxe set to use. And again, this is in hexagram. I use this on my Halloween costume. I wanted red lips for my tiger outfit. And I just, I picked this one up and on just on accident, like it was unintentional and it was so pretty. And it didn't make me look like it was like overly bearing red. It's more like a berry red. If you can see, it's not like true, true red. You know what I mean? It's just super, super pretty. So I'm really excited that I finally found a red that I really, really like that's in a lipstick that's matte, that lasts forever, and that doesn't like taste or smell gross. So I was really excited to find this. Moving on to nail polishes because it's not a favorites video if I don't have nail polishes. Um, the three nail polishes that I've been loving right now are of course Shocker by Essie. First one is Smokin' Hot. This is a nice purplish gray. I don't know if it's not gonna show up. It's like a purplish gray and it's in the darker family. I absolutely, absolutely been loving this. And then the next one I've been loving is Partner in Crime. This is kind of similar to Smoking Hot, but it's a little bit darker and it's a little bit more brown than purple. And it's again, not showing up very well on the camera, but just trust me, it's a very beautiful color. And the last one I've been loving is Dress to Kilt. And this is just a red, I'm wearing it on my nails right now. And it's just very, 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 very pretty and appropriate for fall, I think. And then finally moving on to my last few things that are not makeup or beauty related. Well, I guess this one's beauty related, but my boots. I have been loving these boots. These are just amazing. These are actually from Target and they're just kind of like a nice little like combat booty type thing. They're very lightweight, so they're not hard to walk in. They're very comfortable. And actually they are kids boots. <laughs> these are in size juniors. They're in a size five. I usually wear a size six and a half in women's. I came across these while I was at Target and I saw them and I was like, those are really cute. And then I realized I was in the kids section. And I was like, well, I don't care. I'll just try them on anyways. So if you didn't know, kids or girls sizes actually run bigger than women's sizes. So normally a size four is actually a size six and a size five is a size seven, if that makes sense. So I picked up the size five because the size four was a little bit too snug on me. Cause like I says, said, I'm usually six and a half. And since I like to wear thicker socks and these are really thin and lightweight, um, I wanted to be able to wear nice thick wool socks in the winter. So I wanted some room to breathe if that makes sense. So these are just so cute and they were only $27, which I thought was a great deal for these boots. Like I've been looking for amazing black casual boots for a while now for to wear with skinny jeans. And that was just amazing because the ones that are similar to this that I found on Steve Madden's website were like 140. So win for that. I'm a little depressed because they came in brown online and I went to go order them, but they were all sold out of my size. So it was just kind of like shucks, <laughs> but bygones be bygones. The next favorite I have for you guys, second to last or third to last favorite for this month is oh, Angie's Holly Drizzle Dark Chocolate Sea Salt Kettle Corn. This stuff, oh my gosh. I, okay, I don't know if this is offensive if I say this, but I am like a crack addict when it comes to this popcorn. It is amazing. It is from Costco. It is about $5.99 a bag, I believe, although I've heard from some people that it's on sale right now at certain stores. I was at my mom's house and I was on her couch and I was eating a few bites and then I immediately loved it. I asked her to pick me up some and she got me three bags because it is limited edition and I ate through those three bags within a week and a half. Um, I don't know why I'm so addicted to this. It just is so good. It's gluten free, it's whole grain, it's no high fructose corn syrup, it's kosher dairy. Again, it's um, certified gluten free, it's non GMO. So it's just, it's a really just good indulge yourself, just treat. 
as you guys know, being gluten-free has kind of been hard for me uh, just because there's a lot of really yummy, yumminess things that I miss and especially being caffeine-free on top of that. So having something that's gluten-free that's so delicious like this, oh my gosh, it's so good. So if you love kettle corn and you love dark chocolate, I highly suggest this popcorn. I know some people were like, oh, that sounds really expensive for a bag of popcorn. But if you think about it, it's, dark, it's got high quality dark chocolate and it's high quality sea salt. It's super good. And it's actually like, the bag is actually full when you open it. Like it's not like those popcorn bags where you open it in half of its air. Like you get a full bag of popcorn. So I actually asked my mom to keep an eye out for it because I would like to stock up because I've been going through so many bags and I know they're gonna stop selling it soon. So everybody's been like contacting me and saying like, oh, I found it here, I found it here. And I just wanna stock up to make sure I have some for you know February after the holidays or something because I know they'll stop selling it. But it is amazing. So if you see it while you're out, just pick one bag up and try it and let me know if you like it. Again, if you don't like dark chocolate though, it's not gonna be for you. John hates dark chocolate and he didn't like the taste of it. But anybody who likes dark chocolate, <clears throat> so good. Okie dokie, artichokey. Okay. Okie dokie. Kai is in here. Can you tell? Um, the last favorite of mine are two things. Um, well, actually kind of three things. My new MacBook and my headphones. Um, I actually bought these headphones a while ago. Is that what they're called? Headphones? That sounds funny to me. Um, these are Bose headphones. I absolutely love them. They're in the color teal. I picked these up, I think, I want to say three months ago when they were on sale at Best Buy. They are amazing. Like, if I'm yelling right now, it's because I can't hear myself talking. Um, a, they're cute. B, they're very, very like travel friendly. They fold down flat like this, and then it came with a Bose case, which is right here, actually. I could show you. It comes with this little case where they fit in, and then the cord right here is detachable, and then, yeah, it's just detachable. And it's also a microphone in it as well, so you can use it with your iPhone and talk to people while you've got your headset on. Um, I bought these a while ago because I wanted them for editing at my desk for a computer. I needed something that was over ear because the ones that I had before were on ear and my ears, I would start getting a headache because my ears would hurt. And I can't do earbuds because my ears are weird shaped and they, my the earbuds just fall out. So I picked these up and they are just, I love them. They're absolutely lightweight, comfortable, and the sound is amazing. And they are not, they are soundproof enough where I can block out sound but I can still hear things so like I can still hear traffic I can still hear my kids screaming if they need me or John talking if she needs me but they're soundproof enough where I can not get distracted enough where I can concentrate on editing my videos watching a TV show or being on an airplane with the airplane noise so I've been absolutely loving these now unintentionally <laughs> when I got my MacBook Pro I believe last month I picked out this top hard shell case because it was the only non black or white or clear case that they had at the store at the time and Kelly doesn't trust herself to have nice things without protecting them so I wanted to buy a case before I left the store with this thing I in the only color they had was teal so that's been another favorite of mine I've noticed is teal because not only do I have this computer and stuff but I realized my Clarisonic is teal as well so I really like this color scheme or scheme for some reason so teal would be another October favorite but I've been really loving my MacBook Pro this is the 27 inch that's not right this is the 15 inch 17 inch I don't know it's the bigger model um, we spent a little bit extra money to get just more of everything in it just for my editing and stuff so I wouldn't have to upgrade again because as you guys know I went from using my I my iMac to this I was watching a makeup tutorial I guess last time um so I did want something a little bit more hardcore so that way I could edit and stuff without feeling like I needed to upgrade again in another two years. Um, the iMac that I had just wasn't cutting it anymore for video editing. Um, it was really slow and all of that. And when I bought my iMac two years ago, I wasn't thinking that I would still be on YouTube. Like I really didn't think, oh, I'd still be making videos, especially three times a week. Um, so. I just, I didn't get something, I guess, appropriate for what I needed it for because in hindsight, I didn't know that I would still be doing this. So um, I am selling my iMac right now. I listed it on Craigslist and I've gotten a few offers. Um, so that will be leaving. So now I just have this, which is really nice because it's portable and I can now respond to back to comments and emails to you guys while I'm sitting downstairs instead of being stuck up here. And again, I just really like teal. So it worked out well. So there you have it. They're my October favorites. I didn't think I had so many, but apparently I did. I hope you you guys enjoyed I will leave links to everything that I can underneath this video um, also just to let you know FYI I always leave links to stuff that like people ask me frequently about on this video underneath in the info box so always make sure to check out the info box it's really long um, 
there's something wrong with my voice right now. Um, it's really long, so make sure to check that out because most of the time people ask me questions and usually the answer is in that info box already. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my October favorites. Like I said, I will have my VIB Rouge um, huge Sephora haul. Again, it feels, I'm like nervous to make it because I know somebody's going to be like, why would you spend that much money there? But you know what? That's all I wanted for my birthday this year was to go shopping with no restraints at Sephora. So um, I will have that video up for you guys next week because like I said, I'm waiting on two packages still because some stuff was back ordered. And I will see you guys all in my next video, which should be Monday. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.